Do you spend every day at the beach? No, I don't. Like most Floridians, I am busy working throughout the day. And then on weekends, being in real estate and a creator, I, again, am normally working on the weekends. I like to travel. When I was younger, raising my family, we would spend more time at the beach. But like, for now, nope, not so much. Another question I get asked often, are Florida oranges as good as they say they are? No, they're even better. Wait, who gave me an apple? Uh, throw me an orange. Someone, someone. What exactly do you mean by panhandle? Um, do you mean besides the handle of a pan? Yeah, that's the northwest section of Florida that's shaped like a panhandle. Does anyone own closed toe shoes in Florida? Flip-flops are part of Florida's uniform. Remember the election with the hanging chads? Oh, whoa, now, you can't say the C word here in Florida. What's the fishing like in Florida? I, I have no idea. Why would you ask me? I don't fish. Okay, but I do know a lot of people love to fish here. And I have heard it's some of the best fishing in the United States. What about fishing? Is anyone actually from Florida? Well, we have lots of transplants and snowbirds. But are there two Floridians? You betcha. And if you were to ever meet one, they're going to happily tell you what generation they are. My kids are generation one. So do I go to Disney every weekend? I wanna go to Disney World! Oh, oh Disney World, Disney World! <laughs> Let me tell you, if I could, I would. But those summers are brutal, so no, I don't. But I do, in the off, when it's cooler, the cooler months, I do try to get there as many Sundays as I can. And I pick Sundays because the traffic on I-4 Sunday morning is like a dream. It's really not that bad. The way home, totally different story. But who cares, I just had a fun day at Disney. Did you say you had a alligator in your swimming pool? Oh, I'm sorry, did I forget to mention there's alligators in Florida? Check this video out here. How do you survive the humidity? It's Floridian superpowers. Where did all that dirt come from on the front of my car? Oh, that's not dirt. That's love bug poo. Isn't there a lot of old people in Florida? Well, with age comes wisdom. Elderly people know the best places to live, and Florida's it. Does every home have a pool? Pretty much, pretty much AC and pools is how we survive here in Florida in those hot summer months. It's getting hot outside. Have you ever seen a rocket launch? Oh yeah, pretty much from anywhere on the east coast of Florida, you can see from a distance the rocket launch. Now, have I actually gone there to watch it? No, absolutely not. I'm not one big for crowds and, you know, fading the crowds in the heat, but many, many people love it. I'll probably get comments below about it. And actually there's an app and you can download it. If you're interested, go ahead and download it. It's free. It's called, uh, probably rocket launch. Space. It's called space launch and it has a little picture of a rocket and it'll give you all the details of next upcoming launch. So I do have that. I do like to go to the top of my condo and watch it when it does take off. I've seen many, many that way or just walk across the street on the beach. It's a beautiful sight to see, even from Daytona Beach. Christmas must really suck in Florida. <laughs> Why, because it's not 30 degrees and a blizzard outside? Oh, no, 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 we have awesome ways we celebrate Christmas here in Florida. Why do so many people swim in those ponds? You mean springs? Oh my goodness, the springs are absolutely beautiful. If you've never been to one, you got to see them. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're rather cool. They say very cool year round, but they are something to see and the wildlife, the whole thing. If, and it's an amazing way to cool off. If you haven't been to a natural spring, I highly suggest it. Another question I get asked a lot is, does it rain much in Florida? Well, it's called the Sunshine State for a reason, but however, with that said, Around 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, sometimes you may want to look outside and see if the clouds are getting dark. If so, go ahead, grab your poncho and get ready to buckle down because it's going to be a one heck of a storm. Good news, 15, 20 minutes later, it's sunshine again.
but isn't it really, really hot in Florida? Yeah, yeah, it's hot. It gets really hot, but it also gets cold. Yes, that's true. As a matter of fact, sometimes you'll even see Floridians wearing long sleeve shirts. Do you ever get sick of the same climate? In a word, no. Okay, the forecast is for Hurricane 2. Why is nobody freaking out? No, 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 no. Hurricane 2 categories, time for a hurricane party. You haven't been to a party till you've been to a hurricane party. It's a hurricane party. <laughs> a hurricane party is exactly what it sounds like. Okay, now the forecast, Hurricane 5. Should we be concerned? <laughs> Yuppers, you might want to pack your stuff up and head on out of town. People that have been here long enough realize Hurricane 5 and up can do some serious damage. You go ahead and take that hurricane party somewhere else, maybe Georgia or go up to New Orleans. If you have any questions in particular you'd like to ask me about living in Florida, I'd be happy to answer. Go ahead and comment below. Till next time.